Привет, добрый день, привет из Минска. Guys, good afternoon and welcome to uh, Minsk. Now, um, if you are a book lover like myself, well, there's a big event going on right here, uh, right now in Minsk. Uh, it's, run it, it's running from the 5th until the 9th of February. So if you are in Minsk between then and now, it's a good place to check it out. So guys, behold, I present to you the 27th Minsk International Book Fair and Market. Sounds interesting here at the Bell Expo uh, Amphitheatre here in just outside the center of Minsk. So guys, follow me on a journey inside this building and let's see what kind of books we can check out and maybe even buy as well. Here we are guys, right inside the uh, Bell Expo uh, Centre, built for the 1980 Olympic Games. And uh, I'm going to go through most of the exhibitions here. Okay, so what we have here, we have uh, the factory that makes, that makes all the maps of the world. And straight away, I can see my country, my uh, Stranice, Irlandia. This is my country there. Okay, so we have maps here. Everything. Yeah, so you want to buy a map of uh, Belarus. There you go, guys. It's, everything is here. Space is packed. So we're going to go through uh, as many of the international exhibitions. Okay, and uh, lo and behold, we have here the United States of America. The source of uh, a lot of immigration from Ireland to the USA. So let's visit the USA. So we have a map of the United States on the uh, floor. Okay, so we have different types of American books. Of course, all in English, by the way. Fantastic. Very, very interesting. And we have different magazines from the different states, different parts of the USA. That's one of Massachusetts, I think, Cape Cod. Hi. Okay, so what do we have here? Lots of uh, uh, different books, presents, games you can get, uh, books, travel books from the USA. Very nice. Meet an American travel writer. Listen to American music. Yes, if you've been to the USA, this is something that you would find very, very familiar. A quiz yes. of the USA? Well, I'm actually not from the USA myself. I'm from Ireland, so. But you probably know something about, yes, we can take an electronic quiz. It's electronic 20 quiz, questions. 20 questions on the USA. All right, well, it's definitely something I will take. Definitely, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys, so that is the United States. I think I'll go back and uh, take a quiz of 20 uh, questions about the USA. Okay, so let's move on then, guys, shall we? Okay, that was the USA, the iconic Route 66 um, sign. Okay, now what we have here. All right, guys, so we have Germany here, Germania. Germany, uh, you have the kids section in here. Awesome. Okay, so cash and carry. Yes, so we have books, all kinds of books in Russian and in uh, Belarusian. Children's books here. Okay, so we have globes, maps, different kinds of books. If you love books like me, guys, this place is a uh, paradise. This is a paradise for guys like me. Okay, so then we have Kniga Belarusi, so Belarusian books in uh, Belarusian. Okay, so we have books on all the different historical figures. Okay, so yeah, absolutely. Very interesting here. Okay. So, okay, so what we have, we have some more. Um, exhibitions here we have Austria called the home of Franz Kafka Sigmund Freud 
So, of course, we have books in Russian and in German. Okay, so if anyone can translate in German for me, that'll be great. Here we have the Republic of Korea, that means South Korea. Okay. Здравствуйте. Добрый день. Okay, so we have books, Korean. Yes, I don't understand Korean. So the National Folk Museum of Korea. Visit East Asia. At the best platform, huh? Спасибо большое. Wow, visit East Asia, guys. There we go. The first of my free freebies. Okay, all right. So we have, okay, Vengria. This is Hungary. Okay, this is the uh, Hungarian stall. This is the Hungarian stall. How do you guys have been to Budapest? It's a really nice city, beautiful city. Check it out. Okay, and here we have Slovakia. Again, another European Union country. Some books here in Slovak. Uh, I can't read. Uh, this was the Slovenic. Uh, Slovensky. Spistovalov. Whatever that is, I have no idea. Of course, Slovakian history, more Slovak books, Slovak literature. Okay, where should we move on then, guys? Okay, so what we have here, welcome to Romania. This is the Romanian section. I have been to Romania, by the way, guys. So we have books uh, in Romanian. Okay, from the embassy here. We have more books. Romanian art. That's all we have. Okay, so we have more really, really nice books, Romanian folklore, customs, etc. This is the Historia Romani in Belarusian about uh, Romanian history. Exactly. exactly, exactly. Are you from Romania yourself? Yes. From Romania. Whereabouts in Romania are you from? Uh, Where? Now I live here. Okay. My husband is from Romania. Oh, it's from Romania. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Okay, so yes. There you go. Okay, so we have more children's books here. Children's books. Okay. All right, let's move on, shall we? Through the exhibition. Okay, so some paintings, artwork uh, behind me. Let's see. If we can um, pick up some more freebies. Okay, so what we have here, some more books here. Um, mainly children's books. Bokrug Sveta. Awesome desserts. Okay, so we have more books. Okay, try to get through here. Which is very very okay oh sorry very it's crowded here guys so we have different book companies this is a book company Eterna from Moscow um, in Askeniga another um, company from Moscow selling of course books in Russian mainly children's books uh, Gnosis uh, again, philosophical and uh, non-fiction. All right. Okay. Let's uh, move on, shall we? Okay. So, welcome to Germany. Dobro pozdravat. Nagromania. So let's look at the German uh, stall here. Of course, I didn't study German. Uh, in school so this is Germany and let's move on guys okay into the German stall here here we are any German speakers here you can help me out Deutschland, Landschaften, Sagenhaft no idea because I never studied German in school Deutschland, Germany, Almania that's French Deutschland, Germany yeah, some more books and here we have some German textbooks, uh, school textbooks. Best of Freund, I presume that means best friend. No idea. 
Maybe it does. Some, some people say German and English is a bit very, very similar. I think English is more similar to Dutch and Friesian. Okay, what's that? Liebengross. Deutsch. Need your help, guys. My German subscribers to translate German for me. I don't know German. Okay, this is the Goethe Institute. Again, this is part of the uh, German exhibition here. Okay, let's uh, move in then, shall we? Okay, so again, more local companies where they have uh, bookstalls, exhibitions. Okay. Actually, guys, what I'm in right now is the uh, Bell Expo Center. It's quite impressive, to say the least. It was built for the 1980 Olympic Games. Um, Belarus held one of the, a number of the um, football games for the 1980 Olympic Games, one of the group games. Ah, here we go. Turkey. So this is the uh, Turkish uh, stall here. Salzer, Turkey. Again, we have some Islamic books, the Islamic scripts, really, really beautiful. Uh, bound, a Slova. So we have a Turkish, uh, Russian dictionary. Wow, very interesting. Okay. So, Moscow, another place from Moscow. Okay, let's move on, guys. Let's move from Turkey back into Belarus. Okay, so what we have here, Belaruskaya Naka, Belarusian um, science culture. Okay, so we have more Belarusian books here from different um, companies, many, many different um, publishing companies, they come here and they set up their exhibitions here and of course from many, many different countries um, around the world uh, as well. Okay. Okay, all right. Shall we move on then into some of the main parts? Okay, see what we have here. Okay, some more bookstalls. Okay. All right, I'm actually going to take that American quiz. Let's see how much I know about the United States. Okay, so now we're going back into some parts of the um, international uh, arena, international stall. So what we have here is that we have the stall for the Islamic Republic of Iran. I've always been meaning to get to Iran. This is quite beautiful. I love this um, Islamic art, Persian Islamic art. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Yeah. So there we go. Some of the uh, Iranian um, exhibitions. Really beautiful. I love Persian art. Yes, absolutely fantastic. Look at that. That's just amazing. This Persian art, Iranian art. It's beautiful. Resume. These are. Farsi books, books in Farsi, right here, yes, always wanted to go to Iran, okay, let's keep it in the international side, so this is Kazakhstan, right here, books in Kazakh and in Russian, two of the official languages of uh, Kazakhstan, okay, all right, So, let's push on, guys. Shall we? Okay. So, now let's move on then to the Polish section. Polska. Polska, Polska. So, again, a lot of books here. Some of the main exhibitions for the Polish section. I don't know a lot about Polish uh, literature, to be honest. Okay, so we have some. Yeah. Some 
Polish theater. Yeah, of course, Polish is spoken in this country. Uh, it's spoken in the western part in Grodna and Brest region. A lot of people here, particularly the western part of Belarus, have a uh, Polish ancestry, so they get the Karta Polaka. Okay, beautiful. So yeah, Belarusian and Polish. Again. Okay, so let's go from Poland to Palestine. The state of Palestine. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm just looking at your uh, exhibition here. I'm just coming. I'm a vlogger from Ireland. I come from Ireland. Thank you very much. And I see uh, different books and pala from Palestine. Football. I'm a big fan of football here. Yeah, English. Yes. Male of English work. Yeah. In Russian, yeah. Belarusian. In Belarusian. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. What's your name? Kimat. Mart. You are welcome. Neil. Nice to meet you. Nice Mito, to meet you. Mito. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Thank you. Okay. So we have again Azerbaijan and books in uh, Azeri, different uh, Azeri authors, books, and so on. Really, really good. Very nice. Great to see so many different countries here um, at this exhibition. Again, lots of different books, guys. Rafael Hussainov. I love this uh, beautiful Arabic Islamic script. Of course, all in, uh, it's in Polish, it's unusual. Okay. So, yeah, fantastic. Okay, let's go from Azerbaijan then into China. Again, China is the Chinese well represented today. This is the year of the rat in the Chinese year. All right. So guys, I think that is it for the time being. So let's go and let's take the American quiz. Let's do this. Yes, I speak English. I'm here, I'm here to take the American quiz. Do you want to take it in English? In English, of course, in English, yes. By the way, I'm not from the United States. I'm from, Ar still, I'm from I Ireland. I'm from Ireland. Oh dear. Okay, let's see. Very good. What's the highest here? What's the highest? The highest that I have seen is 16. 16, okay. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to take the uh, quiz of America and let's see how well I did. So, here's one of the questions. According to the TripAdvisor website, the three most romantic hotels in the world are located in Paris, in the Costa Rican city of La Fortuna, next to the National Park, and in the Spanish city of Lanzarote in the Canary Islands. In which state is the most romantic hotel in the USA? Any ideas, guys? I have no idea. So, I'm going to go for Hawaii. We're going to find out later if I'm correct. So would you like a magnet too? How many days of guaranteed paid vacation do Americans have per year? Hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to go for seven. In Ireland we have 20. 20 days. I'm going to go for seven. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth in my American quiz. I got the Lewis and Clark one right, I think. So here we go. Let's see how American I am. Drum roll. Okay, so view the score. Nine out of twenty. Alright. Oh great. Do I get my American badge? I will give you an American badge. But awesome. you now have the opportunity to see the correct answers and you can see what you missed. Yes, I think I'll see a lot of questions that I missed. Yes, I think I will. Thank you for the badge, it was great. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're not gonna see what you missed? Um, I don't want the embarrassments. Well, I can tell you that Hawaii has the royal palace because Hawaii was raised. Actually, I got that one right. I got Hawaii correct. Hawaii. And the, trick, the word that you had to pay attention to in the time off was guaranteed. No one in the U.S. is guaranteed. Uh huh. That's the term guaranteed. That's an interesting one. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you go, guys. Nine out of twenty for my, my American quiz. Yes, I think I'm, an, I'm an, now an American citizen. 
Ah, good old freedom land. All right. Okay, guys. So that was it. I think I'm going to call it a day for the International Book Fair here in Minsk. I've really enjoyed it. I've met a lot of people, talked to some very, very interesting people. So, on that, guys, I'm going to catch you later. Das Vidania, do Stretchy. See you soon. Bye bye.